Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Rule the Waves. We are, uh, it's been a while since our last video, but we are into 1914 as Japan. Uh, to give you an example of where we're at right now, we have three battle cruisers in service and one battleship building along with another battle cruiser. So that's three dreadnought type warships with two more under construction that gives us a total of five. If you compare that with other countries, Germany has three battleships and two battle cruisers in service with three and two under construction. So a total of ten for them against our five. The British have three battleships in service or four battleships in service, I'm sorry, with three under construction, three battle cruisers in service with one under construction, so that gives them a grand total of 11. Uh, and the French have six battle cruisers either built or under construction, and another two battleships building for eight, while the Russians have one battleship building, three battle cruisers building, and three in service for a total of seven. The U.S. has a total of 11, and the Italians have a total of 8. So quite the arms race going on, with Japan being uh, fairly far behind, but also, other than Italy, uh, Japan has the smallest fleet. We also, uh, something that we haven't talked about previously, or at least not recently, uh, is we are spending a whole crap ton on training, because we're giving specialties under both gunning, gunnery and night fighting to our, to our crews. So that increases maintenance costs by 50%, I believe, each. No, 50% total, which makes it harder for us to field a large fleet. Now, last video, I believe we finished a battle cruiser. Uh, we have another one under construction, 12 more months, and then a battleship under construction, as I mentioned before. But we have about $2.7 million in monthly reserves. I'd like to start building more cruisers, because right now, if we look at the cruiser situation, we've got eight modern heavy cruisers. Uh, no one else is really building any heavy cruisers right now, because the battle cruiser has kind of supplanted the heavy cruiser, and the only reason that heavy cruisers really erupted in popularity after World War I uh, was because of those armament treaties. So you can perhaps thank the existence of heavy, heavy cruisers in World War II, largely to the Washington Naval Treaty of uh, 1922 which made the construction of battle cruisers less possible. Uh, in the run-up to World War I, however, uh, heavy cruiser construction largely stopped. Because if you actually look at the tonnage, I mean, some of the heavy cruisers just before the battle cruisers became popular were like 15,000 tons. I mean, they were the size of pre-dreadnought battleships. So if you're talking about, you know, the next level up is really the, the battle cruiser. And if you look at the Battle of the Falklands between the British and the Germans, the Germans had some pretty high-quality cruisers under the Scharnhorst class, and they were just thoroughly outclassed by the British battle cruisers, which were the earliest of the British battle cruisers. So it just kind of showed how, unless you're faster, uh, you know, that heavy cruiser role may have been obsolete. Uh, we have fewer destroyers. A lot of our destroyers are also not very modern. Uh, and we only have a couple of light cruisers, which I'd like to increase as well. So I'd like to build more of the Izumi class, which we designed, I want to say, just a year ago uh, with those six-inch guns, uh, probably an ideal commerce raider, especially with a speed of 28 knots. But I'd also like to build more gamer, historical gamer, of course, class battleships, which is our first sort of semi-modern battleship class with the two super-firing turrets, the eight main guns, a lot like some of the World War I class battleships, 14-inch main guns uh, and eight of them. So, uh, I think what we're going to do right now, uh, because battleships take so long to build, and because, again, we have about 2.7 million uh, free per month, and we also have one ship coming off the way, so it'll free up another 1.2, I think what I'd like to do first is just build another gamer-class battleship. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Um, let's see, the first ship being constructed is the gamer. Um, we're going to go ahead and build another ship. We're going to call it the gamer-class again. Um... Well, I already have a gamer class, so let's see. What's another suggestion? Really? Well, we already have a ship named the Gamer. Okay, uh, we'll call it the Historical. So there'll be sister ships, the Historical and the Gamer uh, battleships uh, that we're going to go ahead and construct here. So you see that puts us into the red, but we have $28 million in, in kind of slush funds to pull from, and it's only 300000 a month, so no worries about that. We'll have plenty. You can see that second additional gamer class battleship will take about 33 months, so a little bit over two years, almost almost three years, actually. And that almanac situation changes, so now that we have 60,000 tons under construction, 
uh, of modern battleships. That also puts us in an advantageous position against the Russians, who they have three battle cruisers in commission with three under construction, one battleship under construction that gives them four ships under construction. We now have three under construction with three complete. So if we ever fight the Russians, that'll be a nice, uh, a nice, f I guess, resource. I I'm not sure how to call it. Uh, but what we're also going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to scrap two of these Mikasa-class battleships because really they're getting obsolete. They're from about 10 years ago. And if we remember back during that, that time period, back in the 1904 time period, we had an arms limitation treaty, which meant most of our battleships were 9-inch gun battleships. In fact, that didn't change until the... It uh, wasn't even the Izumi class. All our battleships are actually less heavily armed than some of our heavy cruisers. Uh, the Izuma class has 8-inch guns, but if we look at the Tabuka class, it has 18 9-inch guns. That's more powerful than our battleships. Uh, so I think what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and scrap these... Uh, yeah, we're going to scrap these two. And we get over a million dollars for that, so that goes into our buffer. And then we're going to go ahead and mothball the other four Mikasas, at least for now. To save us some money. And just like that, you can see we're $800,000 back into the black by mothballing these ships. And again, uh, that'll save us almost 200000 per ship. Uh, and if there is an emergency and we go to war and we have to pull them out of storage, we can do that. Uh, at least, I would say, until some more of these battleships start coming off the ways. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build two more of those light cruiser classes that we designed just uh, two years ago. Uh, the Izumi class, actually three years ago. But I think it's still relatively modern. Um, well, maybe we shouldn't do that. Let's take a look. Let's go ahead and design a new ship. So I'll go ahead and drag that over here. So we're going to design a light cruiser class. And why don't we have uh, the computer design it for us? So let's auto design that ship. So you can see here, it's going to pick 5 inch main guns. Our previous one was 6 inch. Um, looks like we have a few more of the uh, second secondary guns, but only 5 inchers. It's a little bit uncertain. Uh, 5,100 tons, 27 knots, coal is the main armament. Why don't we bump that up to 28? I want to keep this at least in line with our other light cruisers, so we'll increase the tonnage slightly to 5,600 tons. Okay, so that's a new class. It's more modern. I'm going to trust the computer design here for the... Yeah. Mm, screw that. Well, should I? Should I do that? Yeah, we're going to trust the computer here. So we'll go ahead and we're going to save this design. Okay, good. So the Yamiya class light cruiser. Again, this one's brand new. We also have a Mikaze class destroyer, which is only two years old. We're going to build some more of those as well. Uh, but this one actually costs less than our previous light cruiser class because it's 2,000 tons lighter. I'm trying to see. Oh, I don't want to do that. Um, let's see here. The Zumi class is heavier guns, so it has 10 6 inchers. So, relatively well armored, I would say. 7,700 tons, 3 inches of armor. Um, I don't want to build any subs. Whereas the Yamiya is a little bit smaller, but it's more economical. 800,000 uh, in terms of the cost. So, again, I think we'll build two of those. Um, at once, and um, yeah. Okay, so you can see we're in the red again, but we've got a ship completing next month that'll bring us back into the black. We're building two more light cruisers, three under construction total. Uh, that'll bring our light cruiser force up to 11, still farther behind than I'd like, but at least we're in parity with Italy, uh, and uh, pretty much almost in parity with Russia as well. Um, so we've got those... That may be less capable, I think. Let's see, 10 6 inches versus 10 5 inches. So, yeah, uh, and 2 3 versus uh, no secondary. So, a little bit under armored. Uh, the armor belt on the Yamiya is lighter as well. Uh, same speed, but it does carry some mines. So, the computer design threw on the ability to carry 30 mines, which I think will be useful, especially in kind of a commerce rating role. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's a. A reasonable design. Let's go ahead and jump forward to the next month. We, you know, we're negative money right now, so there's not much else we can do. Uh, so our Un Ebe class uh, light cruiser completed. Uh, the naval secretary believes submarines are key to victory in a future war. He wants you to build at least 28 additional submarines. 
That's a lot of submarines. Um, prestige goes up if we refuse, but our budget goes down. If we say half, nothing happens. And of course, Sir gets our budget to go up. Do I prefer prestige or do I prefer budget? Let's go. I'll take that additional budget. Um, the Russians have laid down a new battle cruiser class. The EMEA isn't completed yet, it looks like. Oh, wait, no, that's one of the new ships I'm building. Okay, that doesn't matter. Um, so now we have 1.2 million free cash that I guess we're going to have to use toward building some subs. Uh, we only have a coastal sub ability at the moment, I think. Unless... Can you design a sub? Doesn't look like it. Can't design a sub. Okay. Um... So we've only unlocked the coastal submarine, I think. Yeah. And our objectives is have 28 SS is building. Well, I guess there's a simple solution to that. They only cost, well, they cost 100,000 to build, but they only take 14 months. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to build 28. <laughs> Good Lord. Why does it only let us build 10? Okay. It's going to cost 2.8 million per turn. We got 1.6 million in the. It'll be put us 1.6 in the red. That means we'll have 10. So about 16 months or so. How long does it take to build? 14. Yeah. So we'll have enough money to do this. Although we'll be burning through our entire entire savings. So we'll go ahead and we'll lay 28 subs down. Looks like it only lets us lay down 10 at a time. Um, so I'll go ahead and lay 10 more down, I guess. So Japan is going to become a submarine force. So we've got 20 building. we got to go build 8 more. Okay, so we've got 28 ships, I think under construction and reliability. These are all relatively new designs, they're only two years old, but they're all coastal subs. So we are ready, I guess. Um, and we also have $1.5 million in debt now per turn. Anyway, so we fulfilled that objective. Does say build requirements are okay. I, I can't do math there, right? Yeah, I did twenty-eight. Okay. Um, you know, why don't we just do two more to round it out? Have an even thirty. Though if something happens or whatnot. So build two more. So now we have 30 ship subs under construction. That means we're going to have a rather large sub fleet. Uh, well, we've got two light cruisers and three capital ships under construction. I'd like to build some destroyers, but we're not really going to have the money for that for a little while. Thanks to private shipbuilding, our dock size expands by 1,000. Major arms and manufacture wants an enter technology sharing agreement with Italy. Cooperation is vital for both our nations. It'll lower tensions. Never we cannot risk... I'm going to bump tensions, because if we bump tensions a little bit, it may give us a little bit more money to play with when we get our next budget. Okay. All right. So we can see our heavy cruisers are starting to become obsolete as well. The uh, Azima class is kind of the bulk of our cruiser fleet. We're going to go ahead. These guys are mothballed. We're going to go ahead and scrap these as well. Just because, again, those two ships hadn't been rebuilt, and they're getting obsolete. Wow. Private shipbuilding increased both. A sudden slump in the economy has led to widespread unemployment and poverty, as well as cutbacks in military spending. You're asked to advise on how to handle the situation. Any further cuts in the Navy budget are unacceptable, considering the tense and international situation. Uh, decreases your budget, 
increases your prestige and tension. Charities could institute some kind of relief for the poor and decreases your budget. Government should consider social reforms to care for the unemployed. Let's increase tensions. I'm already going to lose enough money as it is. Um, I'm, I don't need cue ships. I've got, <laughs> I've got enough subs. Okay. All right, so tensions with the U.S. are rising. Ships under construction, seven more months till that battle cruiser, the high, is done. Uh, that'll probably be the last of the Naga class. We've got four battle cruisers of the Naga class, three triples on each side, so six guns on the broadside, plus two on each flank. So really, you've got an eight broadside salvo of 10 inch guns. Um, a little bit obsolete. It's 26 knots, which actually makes it fast, but still not. Uh, not exactly what I would consider state of the art. Okay. We're receiving much praise for building the required number of submarines. An eccentric scientist is an invention, light forces, and torpedo warfare. One never knows. The British government's offering to sell us the right to target designator. Our Navy needs the best technology money can buy. Okay, so I just bought a whole bunch of technologies, two actually, one from local, one from foreign, uh, which dropped our, our money a bit, but our budget went up a bit, and we've got some ships that'll be done here within the next six months, so we should be okay. Uh, let's go ahead and jump forward. One of our allies on the major is threatening by a neighbor. What policy do we recommend? Back our ally unconditionally. Call for international peace conference. Try to get ally to back down. Back our ally unconditionally, budget and tension go up. So again, you can see the budget went up, and now uh, we're doing a little bit better in terms of our balance. <laughs> Holy cow, budget went up a lot. 276 uh, puts us in solid second to last place, um, but much better, much better finances there. Meanwhile, we can see some of these other uh, Izama class, especially this one built in 1900, is obsolete. So we're going to go ahead and scrap it as well. Got a little bit of capital for it, a little bit of cash, saved a little bit of our monthly balance. Tensions are kind of going up across the board, especially with the U.S., it seems. So a lot of breakthroughs, I think, would be useful to maybe rebuild our battle cruisers when we get some money to do it. Uh, the battle cruisers are only a couple of years old, but if a war comes, they're a little bit obsolete with their smaller guns. I wonder if we can upgrade those guns, if we can rebuild them to 14 inches. Um... Okay, one more. Industrial espionage. Wow. Okay. So we've got four ships under construction. No, three ships under construction. Three complete. Germany has seven under con six under construction. Britain has... Oh, goodness. We're falling further and further behind. The, British, oh, the Russians are going to have eight battleships soon. God damn it. Um... Monthly balance is now in the positive. And Battlecruiser High will be completed in two months. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down another Battleship of the Gamer class. I think. No, that's a bad idea. Okay. Private shipbuilding, max docks keep increasing. Ask for an interview, which you see the nation most likely is a future enemy in war. Uh, we must fight a war with every opponent, increase tensions with everybody. Uh, or we can pick one country. So I would say... Well, you can only pick countries that have high tensions. Double the tension. Well, okay, so you increase tensions with just Russia. But it did also increase our budget again, so we're 1.4 million. Now, the concern is if we keep increasing our budget, uh, eventually it's going to have a negative impact on our uh, unrest level, where you could have a, a revolution locally. Unrest level at 2 is already higher than I would like. I think I'm going to have to build some new destroyers when this ship completes. Especially with light forces. Oh, now that we have medium range submarines, that's oh so cool, right? Now that we have all these subs which we're building that are all obsolete, because now we can develop a medium range sub instead of a coastal. Um, okay, so 1.4 million. Let's go and design a new destroyer. 
just because I think there's been several developments in light forces. Again, I don't really feel like designing it myself, so I'll trust the computer. 900 tons, displacement 32 knots. Uh, I'm just going to trust it. You know, hopefully it makes a decent ship. The Tazaka class or whatever. Ship is seriously overweight. Design is not legal. Well, you made a thousand ton destroyer? 1100 tons? Heavy... Ow! We can't build destroyers of this displacement. But they're too heavy! Um, accommodations. I guess we're going to have to make them... I didn't even save enough weight! I suppose 31 knots is what we're going to have to do. Okay. Ship is cramped accommodations. I, mean, I don't envision sending him out into the ocean far, far away, right? That's not what... Well, Why do you do this to me? Um, I guess I'll just drop the gun. Oh, you're not saving any weight on that. Well, screw that. Um, what what can I drop? I don't want to drop s torpedoes. Uh, speed's the only thing we can drop, and you don't want to drop speed on a s destroyer. Doesn't even do enough. I think 900 tons is the biggest we can make it. If we drop that by five. 110 rounds will have to be okay. Uh, main gun ammo may be on the low side. Well, we're going to have to deal with it. Uh, let's go ahead and build 10 destroyers. So now we're back in the red by 1.3 million, but again, we're building 10 modern destroyers. My concern is a lot of these destroyers are not obsolete, as you can see. Several of them are over 10 years. So these guys are going to be scrapped rather than putting them in reserve. Um, let's see. Last battle cruiser is almost done. We'll go ahead and let that come out. Just completed 10 of our sub, or 20 of our subs, I think. My prestige suffers. Well, we're Japan. You can't expect to have the most battleships. But we have a whole bunch of money now, so we could build a new battleship. The gamer class is two ships. It's a little bit obsolete, I would say. Do we want to... Well, actually... Um, can I modify it? I feel like we had some new designs that came out. Eh, well, we'll, whatever. We're going to build two. It's going to put us way in the red. I can do that for about 10 months, right? I've got other ships that are coming off construction by then, right? I can afford that for 10 months. These guys will all be done by then. Should free up enough cash. Okay, we're going to build two new gamer class battleships. We need more heavy, we need more cruisers. There's no doubt about that. But So the gamer, the historical, I don't like that name. Can we rename that? It shouldn't be called the Gamer Class. It's a Gamer Class ship. Why are you going to call it the Gamer Class? I probably shouldn't have named it the Gamer Class. Um, you can rename a ship in service, right? Yeah. Why can't I do that under construction? Apparently I can't do it. Well, when it's complete, we'll do that. So we now have four battleships under construction. So we have four battle cruisers. We'll have four battleships, giving us eight total uh, capital ships. It'll actually put us in parity with, almost in parity with Italy. Uh, we'll be in parity with Russia, who I think is probably one of our more likely adversaries. So, we'll jump ahead. Private shipbuilding keeps getting better. Really can't afford to spend money on other countries.
There has been an internal upheaval in North Korea. If we send our expeditionary force and restore order, there's a chance we can take it over as a colony. However, this may well increase international tensions. Uh, let's do it. A force from the USA arrives in North Korea ahead of our expedition. Our expedition is powerless to intervene. The Naval League criticizing your tardiness. What? Don't tell me the... No, the U.S. took over North Korea. Kim Jong-un will be so unhappy. What the fuck? I wanted North Korea. We have South Korea. This is the one thing that bugs me is I wish I could be like control control what we get to take over. Um, that would be very nice. It's all randomized. Um, hmm. Fuck. Do I dare call out America? Am I anti-American if I say I hate you, America? Well, I do in this game. Um, fuck. God damn it. All right. Save a little bit of money by mothballing some of these obsolete ships. I really wanted that. Just getting that. What? Oh. These guys are in Southeast Asia, right? So, move ship to North Asia. Move ship to North Asia. And then we're going to have to replace some of these guys in Southeast Asia, right? So, move these two guys to Southeast Asia. Okay. Ships are moving. Um, world cruise, young cadets, send most powerful ships. So that does what? Increases prestige and tension. Average ships does what? Nothing. Old ships decreases prestige, increases budget. So prestige and tension. Hey, the world is getting all pissed off again. Um. Okay, so these obsolete ships have arrived. We're gonna go ahead and mothball you guys. It'll save a little bit of money as well. 120,000. This one we're just going to straight up. Uh, what is this? Yeah, this one's weak. The Azima class is kind of a weak class, so we'll just scrap you out right. So you can see here that's helping our budget a bit. Meanwhile, I've got several other ships that'll be completed soon, and once those are done, we'll go ahead and we'll probably design a new light cruiser class. We'll also maybe look at rebuilding some of these battle cruisers. Uh, so we can modernize them a bit. I don't want to throw them out or anything, but I do think we could uh, maybe modernize them. So we don't have a ton of weight. There's something we do to... Something we do... Oh, replace machinery. Oh, and that frees up a whole bunch of weight, too. I wonder... Can you add turrets in a rebuild? I'd be curious. Holy crap, if we're trying to increase the gun size, that it explodes. Huh, so it does look like you can change the gun calibers, which is cool, because I think that'd be realistic to swap guns out. So we may do a rebuild of those battle cruisers. Not quite yet, though. We're not we're not ready for that yet. Man, our shipbuilding, private shipbuilding industry is doing a great job. We're just having a lot of delays on some of our ships, though. That's annoying. National Pride's not compromised on anything. Um, screw you, America. We're not compromising. You took over North Korea. That's our turf. Jerks. Private shipbuilding going bonkers. Changing government in Russia potential reduce tensions between our nations. Fair words, but the politicians of Russia always have it. Always... The policies of Russia has and always will be a threat to world peace and stability. Damn straight, that's true. Frickin' Russians. Always meddling in our affairs. The Far East should be ours. That's our home. That's our backyard. Get out. What's this? Okay. Right-wing politicians attack the government saying we have too few battles. We have four under construction! Government's considering making symbolic concessions to Russia to lower tensions. We should not consider them. So... We'll design a new light cruiser next turn. 
Ooh, cool. So our destroyer exceeds its design speed. We're building for disarmament conference. Uh, no. Yeah, all these new developments. We need a new class of ships. But we also kind of need to redesign some of our old ones. We also need more light cruisers. We're way deficient in that. Um, we're going to scrap these heavy cruisers that are worthless at this point. These light cruisers will be mothballed. Oh, wait, they're already mothballed. Okay. Um... I think we also look at scrapping some of these. These guys are really... I mean, I keep shrinking the size of the fleet, especially getting all this criticism. But we've got four battleships under construction. That's among the most of any of these countries. <sighs> Eight capital ships is pretty strong in the Dreadnought era. I'm not sure. I think what I'll do in the next video is I'll talk through designing a new ship. We need a bigger ship, too, now that we've got these massive increases in dock size. So I think what I'll do is I'll, in the next video, I'll kind of design probably a new light cruiser, build a few of those, and then as we get closer to the gamer class starting to come online, we'll scrap basically all of our old battleships when those come online, and then we'll go ahead and maybe not the Oami class. Those are, no, they're still 9-inch guns. Yeah, we'll scrap those, too. Well, there's... Yeah, there's only six of them. We'll scrap those two. Um, and then we'll also probably discuss some historical topics. But uh, I am going to be returning to this series, as you can obviously tell from this video. And I do enjoy the series a lot. I hope you enjoy my rambling. And I'll throw some more historical discussion into the next video. Uh, but until next time, guys, this is Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching, and I'm out.